Look at that. More than 10 million Optus users across the country. That's like half the country. So it's been a bit of a strange old start to this Wednesday, guys. It's currently 7 a.m. and if you're an Optus customer in Australia, you are without any form of power. No home internet, uh, no phone service as well. It's a nationwide issue and there's a lot of Optus customers, including myself, out there. So, uh, very unique scenario to never have access to even a phone call. I've never experienced that before and it just shows you how much you rely on the internet. Uh, in this present day, I really kind of just didn't know what to do. We've got a mentoring session happening at 8.30 uh, with somebody over in the States. So he won't know anything about this Optus power outage. Um, so I need to get in touch with him via an email. So I just need to find some kind of internet between now and 8.30. We've got about 90 minutes to be able to do that. So I'm just going over to mum and dad's place right now. If I can get internet with them, I, I don't know if they're Optus or not. If I can get internet with them, then I'll do it. I'll just go ahead and do the 8.30 call. I'll hang around for an hour and a half and just sort of get started with eBay. Um, but if I can't, then I might go to like a McDonald's or something like that. Courtney starts at 11 o'clock today. Um, I'm turning the camera on all day again today. I'll take you through some items that sold overnight that we're gonna try and ship off once the internet's back. And I'm gonna go out and do a lot of thrifting today because I think we're in a position where I need 50 listings sourced uh, before Sunday. So we need to find 50 more. I've got 25 items at home for Courtney today. And then I need to find 50 more that hopefully she can list up as well today and tomorrow and we can have everything done by Thursday. So that's what we'll be documenting. Just the progress of our week. Uh, no, I'm about to do that now. Hey, mate. No, we're out. Well, um, Optus uh, is out nationwide. Out nationwide? It's on the news. Oh, news. I didn't think of that. <laughs> Look at that. More than 10 million Optus users across the country. That's like half the country. I think there's like 25 million in Australia. Anyway, we're gonna go to McDonald's. Bye Winnie. Bye Winnie. Uh, I've just arrived at McDonald's, so hopefully these guys aren't Optus customers. Uh, and I'm just gonna go ahead and reschedule that meeting and probably get a sausage and egg is sausage is the sausage and egg McMuffin at Macca's the best option in the morning I haven't had breakfast at McDonald's for over a decade um, but sausage and egg is that the answer I'll give it a try anyway all right so good news uh, Macca's are with Optus so I wasn't able to use their Wi-Fi I got breakfast though and this uh, shopping center Wi-Fi isn't with Optus so I'm actually on the internet now um, albeit it's a pretty slow internet, uh, but we can send off this email. So, really good news. I'm gonna shoot Paul a message now and let him know that we'll have to reschedule that meeting. Don't know if I'm completely sold on this either, guys. Mm, I don't know if I made the right call there. It's actually pretty good. Uh, and I've also sent Courtney an email as well. Uh, I said to Courtney that she should still come in for 11 o'clock uh, and we'll just go out and do some thrifting. So I actually took a screenshot of a few sales that I need to go and look out. So I might go home and do that uh, with you guys now and uh, just put it all to the side until we get some internet and then we can do the shipping as well. So shoot back home now. Try and make the most of this weird old day. All right. Let's set up this tripod somewhere convenient and go through some sales so the first one that i've got here is actually a pair of doc martens and if you were watching my flea market video from a little while ago um, you would have seen me go ahead and buy these uh, i didn't pay a lot i only paid ten dollars um, here they are here an awesome pair of boots we got a 75 dollars sale price for these and they're in uh, pre-owned condition. You can see there, there's a lot of sole wear. Um, but these shoes are always a good sell-through rate. So I would have bought them a couple of weeks ago. 10 into 75. It will cost a little bit to ship these off. We're going to put them into a box. Uh, a big heavy item like this. Um, not really a great item to be putting into a satchel. So that'll go into a box and it'll probably cost us about $15. It's a domestic sale uh, here within Australia. Uh, so that was the first one I wanted to take you through that was quite good. Something that I'm actually having quite a lot of success with uh, recently because it's something that we weren't originally doing, um, which was these video game uh, bundles. So 
I've started a lot up cheap video games. And I just had this PS4 bundle come through. We've got The Division, Fallout 4, Killzone, Shadowfall, and Watch Dogs. There they all are there. Then they're, they're nothing too crazy. They're all like $10 games. Um, so we've ended up selling them. For, I don't have the internet to check the price, obviously. But I think it had just come through for about $30 odd dollars. So $30 for four games that we can put into a small satchel um, that otherwise I would have in the past, I would have tried to list them up and sell them for $10 each and you would have had to try and post them out four different times and fees and postage uh, for four different sales wouldn't have left you with a lot, but we'll be able to make a few more dollars in our pocket by doing just a bundled sale of four PS4 games. We did the same thing here with this PlayStation 2 bundle. Um, again, I'll show you these titles. There they are there. All of these titles we'd comped up on a previous uh, gaming lot and uh, we, we realized that these weren't worth a lot. Now I'm basically, when I'm doing bundles, um, if they're not quite hitting the quota of $15, then I'm going to go ahead and put them up for $5 in a bundle. So $5, 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 $45. We actually ended up listing this for $49.95 uh, and we got a $44 best offer come through. So we took it. So every one of these games has sold for $4.80, but we can put them into a box and we can have that ship off for about $10 to $12, which is a whole lot better of a scenario. Um, so what I'm trying to say here with these two sales this morning uh, is, is do that. Do that with your video games. If you get um, a bunch of video games that aren't worth a lot of money, um, lotting them up is a fantastic way to get rid of them, to make some money still, um, but to get a really good sell-through rate because you're giving the buyer a great offer by selling your games for $4.80, but you're really discrediting them as well. So um, go ahead, do that, and you'll be able to pocket a few more dollars. Video games continue to be really good sellers. Mario Kart DS, I'm actually really surprised that we had this hang around for as long as it did. We got a $30 sale price for that. I had it priced up for $35 and we just took a best offer. A lot of our sales are best offer sales, guys. Um, so make sure you're putting your best offer feature on there. This one was complete. Um, so it's got the cartridge, it's got the manual. Um, so I think $30 is a pretty fair price to be selling that for. The buyer's got a good result uh, and we've got a pretty good result too. There was this one here. It's a reverse hollow Charmeleon. Pretty cool card there. And this is in great condition as well. As you can see, there's not a lot of whiting on the back there. Not too many scratches on the front either. Uh, I tried to list this one up for $60 and I, again, took another best offer and we got a $50 sale price on this Pokemon card. Uh, there was a video that I put out where I bought a bunch of cards off a viewer of the channel by the name of Sam. Um, and this was one of his better cards. Uh, so that was a, a, oh, probably about six weeks ago now that I bought all those cards off him. Um, so this is a really good turnaround. All right, so that's five sales. Um, I think that's all we'll do. I don't want to overload you guys with sales info because sometimes it could be a little bit boring or repetitive. Um, I don't know. Let me know if you want to hear more um, you know, sales chat of what's come through. We, we had a total of, what did we do? We did $303 in sales on Monday. And then yesterday, uh, I think it was about $300 as well we had come in. So we're averaging this year about $350 in sales and it's all those sorts of items, those sorts of categories um, that are just continually turning over for us week on week, day on day. So um, hopefully that can help you guys out there. I just wanted to talk about, I guess, a mindset or a, um, I guess a habit that you've got to form as an eBay seller. You've really got to build discipline. I think that's one of the biggest things that I've got that's allowed me to continue to sell on eBay. Um, if you've got the, the discipline to do the little things every single day, um, you will have long-term success on eBay and you will make sales before you know it. Um, if you can be consistent on the platform, it will be consistent back to you. And one thing that I really want to focus on today is being consistent with sell-through rate. Um, really buying great items that I know are going to turn over for a great price. I, I put a message out on Instagram yesterday and it's a, huge, it's a huge advantage for me to have this audience because I can lean into you guys to ask you questions for my own benefit. Uh, and, but this one I wanted to pass on to you guys as well. It's basically stores that have got a 90 day, what am I trying to say here? Stores that have got more sales over 90 days than they have as actual active listings in their store. So there's an example right here that I want to put up on screen and have a bit of a chat to you about. This is Jamie. And if you guys have been watching the channel, Jamie has been 
you know, a 14, 15, 16-year-old kid out at flea markets and dropped away from eBay for a period, but he's reinvigorated his store and he's completely just started over again. And his 90-day total right now, based on the experience that he had previously with his old store, he's been able to jump into this new one and he's got a really, really good sales versus active listings. And what that means is that what he buys generally goes on to sell really quickly. And I think that's a really, really important thing for you guys out there just first starting out because if you're buying the wrong items, they're going to sit forever. You're going to build up a massive death pile of stock that isn't just, it's not going to sell. And you're going to get, you're going to get down about it. You're going to get frustrated. You're going to be sending messages to people like me saying, why can't I sell anything? And it all comes down to the items that you pick up. Quality items will always sell even if you're a store that is just first starting out with no sales history. If you've got an item that people want, eBay will show it and it will get sold. So I think the biggest thing that I want to do today with Courtney turning up at 11 o'clock, thrift stores opening up in 45 minutes time, I might go out and make a quick start on this. I need 50. I need 50 listings um, to, to finish the week off with quantity. We've got 20 odd listings down here, pick up 50 more in the thrift. That's the rest of this week done. But what I want to do is I want to challenge myself I want to challenge myself to focus on sell-through rate items that I know that we can see the return on quicker and I really want to improve my active listings and my sold listings number and try and balance them out, try and get them even, which is a huge task because we're well off pace. We're sitting at about 38% and I think a really healthy active store should be about 50%. Um, These guys are anomalies where they are well over um, their quota, um, you know, selling more in the last 90 days than their active listing number. So that's what we're going to do in the thrift. Looking forward to it. I'll see you in 45 minutes time in the first store. Now, if you haven't seen this before, it's actually a collector's beanie. We've got the Fight MND Neil Danaher beanie series. There's a good seven, eight, nine of them to collect and you can get some fantastic money for them. So for two bucks, that was a no-brainer. I've had some really good return out of this DVD rack over the years, but unfortunately, not on this occasion. All of these DVDs I have seen in the past. Um, You might have remembered in a previous vlog, I was checking out these DVD players. There were three originally. Now there's only one. Uh, So hopefully some people have made some good profit on those. Uh, I did find these, some combat boots. Uh, The brand was Magnum. They were only $6. Um, Turns out it's half price day on shoes. So these are only three bucks. Uh, There they are there, the Stealth Force 8.0s. It'd be interesting to see what they sell for. Oh, shoes. $5. Just on the car. I'm really having to put my past thrifting experience to the test today because why didn't I think that right at the very beginning? I'm obviously not going to have my internet to be able to do comp research in store. So it's going to be a really tricky day in the sense of deciding on certain items, more so based on the purchase price, I think. I'm going to know whether or not it's a good item, but I'm just not going to know sometimes. Sometimes I use the eProfit app when I'm out and about on certain items. so. We won't get that today, or at least for the next little bit until the internet comes back on. Um, That one was a good one though. I'll always grab that as I mentioned in the voiceover. Uh, And then these ones here as well, these Magnum boots. I'm just a little bit unsure because they're a size six. And I I don't know, I'll I'll report back on that when we get some internet uh, from a sell through rate perspective. Good news, open on a Monday. All right, guys, we've got a big bundle of Nintendo Wii games here. Now, this is where I've run into my biggest concern around the comps. I don't have my comp research with me. I would have loved to have had it. Surely Black Ops on uh, Call of Duty Nintendo Wii with a manual as well will go on to comp for some good money. I was umming and ahhing in store here, guys. There were some good Skylander ones there, and I was really trying to use my past experience. But remember how we were talking about doing them in bundles? Well, I'm thinking for $3 a piece, maybe I could split them up into multiple bundles. So I ended up grabbing them all. Uh, 90210, this was the final season. And when you're doing DVDs, you always want to find your back-end seasons. So I thought $5 was a little bit steep. So I did leave that one behind. But that's a good one to look out for. All right, this store that we're going in now, I'm going to call it out. We're in Rabina on the Gold Coast. And it is a Salvation Army. And I would say that it is my least favorite store. Yep, my least favorite store. It's just very overpriced. There are shoes in this store. I think it's management just not being aware that these items aren't selling, you know? Like there are shoes for $25 that have been here for nine months. I don't need to say anything else. 
just drop your prices and turn your stock over. I don't want to rant. I'm not negative. I'm not a negative person, so I won't. But we'll go in here and we'll try and find the one or two items that I've missed out on overpricing. Oh. Hello, mate. Look who it is. Hello. How you doing? Good, good, good. You're just stealing all the goodies yeah, here. Sorry, mate. I'm sorry. filming away. Oh, good. How you doing? Yeah, not bad yourself. Yeah, not bad. Are you uh, Optus? Optus? Yeah, no. you with Optus uh, no. completely down. Oh, really? Yeah, across the whole nation. Oh, shit. Yeah, so I haven't had phone or internet or anything all morning. Oh, really? Yeah. It's no good. Oh, no. It doesn't help when you come in here, no, either. I know. Try yeah, to use it. Oh, oh right. <laughs> Thrifting blind, eh? Thrifting blind. That's yeah, the other thing, too. Yeah. Got to run the risk. All right, mate. Uh, good to see you. Yeah, you too, eh? Yeah, see ya. So there it is. The $26 shoe that's been there for nine months. It's a little bit worn. 26 bucks. That's got to be worth eight bucks, surely. Uh, guys, I went to a few different stores, to be honest with you. Um, this was another store that I went in. This Batman figure really interested me. There were comps on eBay for $35 to $50. I think given the fact that it's a large shipment cost, uh, was the reason why I put that away. If you were doing Facebook Marketplace, it might be something that you could sit on for a little bit and make some money on. As the same, obviously, this time of year as well, um, coming into Christmas, this Barbie one as well uh, would be a good option. But it's just too big and bulky to ship off. I don't like doing it. I ended up having a pretty tough thrift run there to end it. So, just as I thought, no luck. Well, I say no luck. I bought this. I found a Stussy tee. Um, long sleeve, uh, tie-dye design, big Stussy on the back. Uh, had a Stussy on the front pocket. I think it's got a yeah, pocket on the front. Um, so, you know, five bucks. It was a size large. It's actually quite a large large. It's probably more like an XL. But for five dollars, in really like new condition, to be honest with you, I thought I'd grab that. But that was it. Bit of a consolation prize for the three stores that we were just in. Look, guys, as a bit of an update, it's, uh, it's 10.30. And uh, Corny starts in 30 minutes. And we still don't have any internet. I've, I've got the SOS symbol on my phone still. I was hoping it might have been resolved by now because it is proving to be a really tough uh, tough old time out here without the comps. And what was the other thing? I would ideally like Corny to be listing and shipping rather than out here thrifting with me for the entire day. It's not really the best use of her time um, for what we're trying to achieve. But uh, I'm going to take all this stuff that I've bought home and um, wait for Courtney to rock up and then we'll get back out and we'll do some more thrifting. Microwave meal for lunch. It's a chicken dinner, it says. It's got potato, sweet potato, and chicken with some gravy. They say it's only a 230 calorie meal, which is why I bought it. Low calories, but yet yeah, it is filling. Uh, apple. And then I had some roast veggies with a steak for dinner last night and I had some leftover roast veggies. So I'm actually just going to put the roast veggies that are in the microwave now into that. I had some mail. I had some mail turn up today and it was something that I was waiting on. It was for this PS Vita that I picked up in a bulk deal a couple of weeks ago. So this PS Vita is in excellent condition. There it is there. That is one filling meal. Um, yes, so I had it as is, this PS Vita. It's, the model number is PCH1002. I just don't know how many gigabytes it's got. Um, so if you know how to work that out, please let me know in the comments. But um, I, bought, I bought a charger. I bought a PS Vita charger off, uh, I think it was Dick Smith. Dick Smith Electronics online had it for $5.45 delivered. So I thought, I thought that was worthwhile. I thought it was worth going ahead and buying it to test it out. So I've waited a few days and it's finally arrived and this is gonna be the very, very big moment where I test to see whether or not it works. Okay guys, the moment of truth. Before we go out thrifting, let's see if this PS Vita turns on. You can, you can turn it on, Courtney. All right. What we'll do is we'll go out thrifting and we'll save the grand reveal for the end of the video. Let that keep charging. We've just realized this is a, this is a promotion. This is sponsored by uh, my hair. Felix Mobile needs to sponsor this um, <laughs> because 
I vouch for them all the time because they never screw up and it's really cheap. Unlimited diet, 35 a month. <laughs> Felix, let me know. Give me a discount code, please. <laughs> give, give Courtney the discount code because she's ready to sell Felix Mobile. Yeah, never drops out. Yeah, jeez. <laughs> no, we, um, we're still out. But we're going to the Salvos, um, which is, I think, actually, Courtney, I think I've been in about five stores already today. Um, and this one here is now under new management, so the pricing is a little bit, a little bit better. I think there's some cheaper DVDs in here, so we're gonna, we're gonna rip back in here. I've got a haircut today as well. I just remembered. Um, Are you gonna vlog that? Yeah, I'll vlog that. I reckon I'll vlog that. Maybe you can, maybe we just stay out and you can vlog that. You can come behind in the behind the scenes of uh, Matt getting a haircut <laughs> with Brooke. Uh, yeah, let's, let's just do that. Why not? Uh, we're at the salvos now, so let's get in there. Yeah. <laughs> no shoes. Mm -hmm. no mm. uh, Eight dollars. Uh, Flex TR six. Mm. Nah, we don't want that. Mm. We don't want that. Yeah, so the price points. Oh my goodness, have changed. <laughs> That's well, like $8. well, not. They used to be one or two dollars for like a week. <laughs> Brew War, Brewmasters, two dollars. It's brand new too. Brewmasters season one. Oh, this is good. Oh. Dragonology, the complete book of dragons. Four dollars. <laughs> oh, <laughs> type that bad boy in. Just you wait. Oh, oh my goodness. Where's the one? Oh, that's right. There it is. Forty. <laughs> is there any more? Thank you. Is there any more? She says you were just oh, writing them off two seconds ago. <laughs> Now you're like, where are they? We need the set. Yeah. Ah, that's a ripper. We've got these here, which are quite good. It says as is, though. Gel counter 22s. What does this... This says as is. See that? Yeah. As though there's something wrong with them? On the bottom? No. There's oh, no, no insults. No inner cells. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. These are like new. Okay, I know 22s, and there is, oh, I don't know if we can see the size. All right, so we're only just able to pick up my awesome find of the Dragon Book, uh, because they were with Optus as well, and they weren't able to do credit card or any, anything but cash payment. Um, so I had to leave the shoes, but four into 40 on the Dragon Book is a pretty good little return, and I've got the shoes on hold. So, I said to them, if we're able to get back later in the day with Optus up and running, I'll come back and buy them. But if not, I said, don't worry about it. All right, we're back. Moment of truth time on a couple of things. First thing is we've got the PS Vita that Courtney's about to turn on and test if it works. I also wanted to go through these Wii games that I picked up. 19 games for $57. Was it a good buy? We'll soon find out. And then I also wanted to search up these, Courtney. I bought these boots. They're a US size 6. They're Stealth Force 8.0. We're going to comp up to see whether or not the sell-through rate was good and the average sale price was good. I paid $3. Wow. Yeah, so it's probably no, no big deal. Yeah. But... PS Vita. Oh, it's there. Oh, it's up top. We were hitting the wrong button. Hold it down. <laughs> Show them. That's the charging button. Oh, is it just the glow light for charge? Yeah. We have a working... Oh, have a look at it. <laughs> PS Vita looks to be working. We've got a working device. Now, that's one win. That's one win for sure. But what I might do is I might actually change this listing. I what? might get you to delete yeah. those two. Did we have both of them? Mm. That was listed for like 35. That was listed for case only 15. So it's basically two $30 games. And then the charger 
and the device, 350. Mm-hmm. That can be the first listing that we do today. $350 going into the store today will really help sales, which I have no idea what sales have come through today. <laughs> right, we'll work it out. Oh, Optus. Well, that won't, that won't work. Uh, all right, so that's good. So you can turn that off. Um, and then we'll keep that all to the side. 350 bucks, that should sell quick. Uh, now, there's a few of these that I know are bad. Really? Yeah. Um, but I thought the Skylanders might have been all right. Just, just try those three. So those two there went for 20 bucks, but I reckon, I reckon we can list them three, uh, all three for 30. So it'll be nine into thirty, and it'll be a small satchel. You know that's good. That's fifteen. Wii Sports. Oh, please, please have that be good. That... Fifteen. Oh, it's not amazing, is it? <laughs> so good. Not really. We, we got one. Phew. Twenty-five. And does it have its manual? Yes, it does. So that's a good one. We've got a $25 Guitar Hero Warriors of Rock. Lucky. Now, the <laughs> last one that we have. So what have we got so far? We said $30 for the Skylanders. 15, 15, 15, 25. Okay, so 30, 45, 50, 70, 100. $100 there. <laughs> These, oh, that's, they're just terrible. Um, Neopets Puzzle Adventure is the last one that we've got. We've got $100 in listings there. Neopets. Oh, it's like 12 bucks, so it's going to have to go in here. Yeah. Damn. So we've got 100 bucks worth of, worth of uh, value in those. We had a bundle. Yeah, we are. But it's we paid $3 each. So this bundle that we're listing, 369, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 30 $36. And I honestly think two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve games, we should be listing them up for like forty nine ninety five. Mm. So after postage, it's money back. Mm -hmm. um, on what we paid, mm -hmm. not on the deal. Yeah. So it's a bad buy in that regard with all those. Yeah. Um, so forty nine ninety five. So it's one hundred and fifty dollars in total listings. But then we've got to take out postage. One, two, three, four, five. Two, four, five, six. Six postage costs out of that 150, and we paid 57. Mm. So when you break it all down, then you take fees, take postage. We're going to list all of this up, and really not make a cent. Mm. So I'm going to say bad buy for the Nintendo Wii games. But that's good content. That's good yeah. for you guys to see because that was obviously being out in a thrift store, seeing video games, which is a category that sells well. And ideally, if you actually went in and you did your comp research, you would have walked out with that and it would have been a $25 game for $3. In the end, we bought everything and we're not going to make a ton of money at all. These oh, are the yeah. next one. The PS Vita, big win though. 350 bucks on that. That's awesome. The charger has come in very, very handy. A Magnum? Magnum Stealth Force 8.0. Oh, that's, yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, how much did you pay? Uh, I paid $3. Yeah. So that's good. The only thing that might slow us down is the fact that it's a US 6 men's. But there is a comp on eBay for $100. 80 plus 25. Yeah. For the exact match. If you drop off um, if you drop off the 8.0 and you just have a look at some average prices on Stealth Force, there's another one that went for 60 and it was a 6 men's. Mm. Oh no, size so 9.5. Oh, US and then so a nine and a half and the ten and a half, which are the shoes that you want to be selling. Yeah. Um, sixty. And oh, then what's that? That's a seven and a half tactical stealth, and then strike force sixty five. So I'm pretty confident, Courtney, that we can list them up for sixty five. Yeah. We're just probably going to have to take a while to have them sell. Yeah. Because of the size is a bit small. Yeah. Um. So we had two wins and a loss. Mm. That's that. I'm off to get a haircut. <laughs> News, Courtney. Power's you back. Haircut. Oh yeah, I got a haircut. <laughs> what do you think? Mm hmm <laughs> It's a, it's a, it's severe when it first gets done. Yeah. Like it's, it's, it's a very, it's a very, it's a very distinctive line. Distinctive, fierce, but trust me, it grows out. 
Look at that. It, trust me, guys. I know the comments are <laughs> blowing up over this cut. But my hair grows so quick that this becomes like a really thin layer of hair before you know it. So I only have to go through maybe one or two days. And shave I Shave it. Or, if this video gets a thousand likes, I'll shave my head completely bald. Oh my god. <laughs> please don't. Please don't hit the like button. No. Um, no. Good news. Um, mm. We've got power. Power. <laughs> I just zoomed in on your face. <laughs> we've got power. Uh, so I just checked the numbers and we've done $173 in sales today. So we did three thirty one yesterday and then we've listed so far, Courtney's listed while I've been doing my haircut. Um, she's listed four and she's also fulfilled all of the posts up until we got the internet back and we were able to grab a few more sales that have come through by non-Optus users. Um, the first one that I want to take you through out of this next little stack that Courtney's going to be doing are these Ariat boots. Um, if you guys were watching the flea market video recently, um, we picked these up for $10 off a really nice old man and um, I actually... I actually upsold him, Courtney. Yeah. I gave him thirty bucks oh. for a CD that was oh. worth nothing. Oh. It was a really good video, actually. Yeah. Wow, that's nice. Um, so I actually paid forty dollars technically for these boots, mm. um, but he was a very nice man, as I mentioned. So hundred bucks there worth of value. We are gonna we're gonna go ahead and put them into a box, and we're gonna do it like that. So it'll it'll, it'll sit in a box very nicely like that. Um, shouldn't cost more than about ten fifteen dollars to post. So that's a good brand, guys. Ariat is is really what I wanted to say there. Um, the other one as well is the Adams Family. Um, oh. oh, sorry about that, Courtney. Uh, the Adams Family here. We've got a volume two, just a single three disc volume two of a TV show, The Adams Family. Goes really well. $22.50. And do I have any medium tracked envelopes left? Yes, they're in the box. Oh, I bought them today. Yes. How silly of me. <laughs> uh, so that will go into that. Easy as that. Uh, and then the other thing that I want to have a chat about is this. We sold two individual sales and I want to say this is a bad item to sell um, on its own. Um, we've got Street Machine, we've got two copies, they both, both sold for $10 each. This doesn't fit in a small satchel. Or a medium. Or a medium, which is very alarming. Um, so I don't actually know how we get this off without actually, we will, we will lose money. Um, and we've got two of them to sell. So this should have been initially made aware of before we listed them up and we should have listed them up as a lot uh, because we've got a February and a <laughs> July here and we would have saved on postage costs. Now we're going to have to pay probably two $10 postage rates and that's literally the entire revenue that we got for the item. Um, so a really bad scenario there on, on listing stuff up without awareness of how much shipping will actually be for it. We've got two to work out there. Um, apart from that, you're working away on your PS Vita. Yeah, it's pretty much done. Was it three fifty? Yeah, three hundred fifty bucks. Yeah, three hundred fifty bucks on that. We've got some Wii games to work through, uh, and then we've got everything that we did today, which, which was not a lot. We've got this T-shirt. I might actually wear this. Do you think that would suit? Do yeah, I like it. Or you don't? I don't know about the long sleeves. We'd have to try it on. I like stuffy though. It's summer, so yeah. it's probably not a great time to be wearing. No, it. it's not. Um, it's not too great. I just like the look of it. Mm. Um, really nice Same. big back print as well. Yeah. So that was one. Um, so we've got one, two, three, four, five there. Whew. Plus we do have all of this. Oh. This will go, <laughs> that's all going oh, out. Oh, that's the USA stuff. Hey? The USA stuff. Oh, Scott. <laughs> yeah, so Scott, guys, if you watched our last video, Scott gave us all of these vintage hats and we did an unboxing on the camera and I, I told everybody to go, go and subscribe to uh, Scott, uh, the Cha Ching King. And uh, Courtney's going to go ahead and list all these up. There was a guy in the recent video, Courtney, mm. um, that we put out that actually gave some... Re I wish I had his name. He actually said to list this up for $100. Oh, I read the comment. It was something about it was their training shirt. 19 1999. 1999. Yeah, Devil, Devil Rays baseball training top. Mm. And he said, he, he said shoot for 100 bucks. Mm. So if Scott's delivered a $100 shirt in just that one item, He's given us hundreds of dollars of worth of value here, just out of the kindness of his heart. One of the one of the nicest people I've ever met, Scott. Um, so Chichin King, go and give him a subscribe. We've got another few items of clothing here that we're sifting through as well. Some of that's actually going to go like this is a fake. We're not going to be listing this up, Courtney. Oh. <laughs> that's a fake LeBron James jersey, I believe. Oh. Um, so we'll let that go. We'll split out the clothing that we do and don't do there. So. I think that we're running a little short on inventory. Yeah, so what would that be? Maybe like two days? 
I don't even reckon because we've what? only done four today. And then. Five, six, plus five, 11. That's 11 more. So is that a full day? Or is that 11? That's 11. Oh. Plus. So one. It's probably two days. Oh, because you've got all these hats, hey? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So we've got, we've got two days worth of stuff. That's not the end of the world. And you've got a few more hours left in here, don't you? Yeah. Six o'clock, you finish. Yeah. Um, all right. Happy days. So I'm going to let Courtney go away and work on that. Um, I might help you out, Courtney, and I'll just run to the post office and drop the post off. Mm -hmm. And you can keep cracking away with your listings. Have some lunch. Yeah. Courtney, Courtney, it's three o'clock and Courtney has not had any lunch. I eat late. You eat late? You eat, you eat lunch for dinner by the looks of it. Yeah, I do. Um, so anyway, we're going to leave the video there. I'm going to go to the post office. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. As Courtney always says, make sure you subscribe to the channel really does mean a lot. We're trying to get to 25,000 by Christmas. Um, so help us out and hit that button and we'll see you in the next video.